We use lever nuts for all of the branch circuits in our Ford Transit build. So lights, fans, USB outlets, and things like that. And got a lot of comments saying that these were trash or they didn't work or that they were unsafe or just generally shoddy workmanship. And today we're actually going to take a deeper look into lever nuts to see if these pass ABYC standards for friction connectors. Welcome to Explorers.life. My name is Nate and I teach people how to build DIY campers. Let's get started. I had always been interested in these lever nuts and was doing some looking around online to see what other people were saying about them. And I stumbled across a boating forum where friend, colleague, fellow Victron ambassador and ABYC master technician, Charlie Johnson had this to say about lever nuts. As a guy who does this for a living, I have switched to the Wago lever nuts because they are quick and reusable so that the replacement of a fixture at a later date is trivial and they also have a port for inserting a meter probe for voltage checks. Soldering, doubling up on butt splices, step down butt splices, cap splices, and scotch locks do not offer these advantages. Now that's what a well-respected professional says about these lever nuts, but what does the ABYC standard say about them? Friction type connectors may be used on components if the connection does not separate if subjected for one minute to a six pound tensile force along the axial direction of the connector on the first withdrawal. So that's what we're going to be testing. So I have six pounds of dumbbells here tied up with some 16 gauge marine wire that is then connected into the center terminal of this three conductor lever nut here. Uh, I've given a good check on the back side. The wire is nice and secure inside as it should be when it's electrically connected. And I've given it a little bit of a tug so that it's nice and secure. We have one minute on the clock here and I'm going to just hold this straight up in the air and see if this slips out within one minute or it breaks any of the strands. And if, is all, if all is good to go there, that means that it passes that ABYC standard. One minute went by and the wire did not fall out. And it looks like pretty much the same as it did whenever I put it in there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and flip the lever here, pull it out. And there are no wires hanging out. So I would say that worked pretty well. Now that said, that uh, satisfies that ABYC standard, but let's just take it a step further and see uh, how much weight one of these can hold. For the next test, we've got one gallon of Rain X de-icer, not sponsored. Uh, it's one gallon, so it weighs just a shade over eight pounds. Okay, we're not gonna do the full minute, but we're just gonna see what kind of weight it takes to pull it out. Next test is eight pounds worth of rain -X and three pounds worth of dumbbell. So eight, nine, 10, 11 pounds. This time around, eight pounds worth of rain -X and six pounds worth of dumbbells. So we're at 14 pounds. Just three or four, this is 18 pounds. And it's starting to get heavy. 26 pounds here, and this is quickly turning into how much can I pick up with two and a half fingers? getting heavy, but it's holding. It's really not even slipping out in the back either. Okay, while shooting some B-roll, uh, it actually did break on the second time around. So the wire might have been worn out or this terminal might have been worn out. So I'm gonna cut this back, restrip it, get a new connector or use a new terminal and try again.
I would say that um, 26 pounds is about as much as this lever nut is going to hold uh, when on 16 gauge wire, which is, uh, let's see, 6, 12, 18, 24, about four times more than what ABYC standards is saying. So pretty impressive to be honest. I wasn't sure how much weight it was going to hold, but now we know. Now I'm also curious um, what happens if we use thicker wire so that the lever nut has more to grab onto. So I'm gonna go get some thicker wire. We're gonna try it. Okay, so we're back with the 26 pound kettlebell, 10 gauge wire, and a fresh lever nut. And it uh, held again, but it did slip. I felt it slip, I heard it slip. Probably wouldn't last the full one minute. Ultimately, I think this is probably pretty conclusive that uh, this is going to be the extent that a single conductor uh, can hold into a lever nut, and I'm pretty impressed to be honest. Now this pull test is not the only thing to consider with these friction type connectors. There's a few other things that I'll leave in the video description below so you can take a look at the full standard. The other one is voltage drop, but ultimately this is a high quality electrical component and it is UL listed. So that means that it's gone through the testing to verify it is a high quality electrical component. I am super happy that we did use these throughout the transit. It made our lives so much easier. And these are what we include with our puck light wiring kits at shop.explorus.life. And this test has been a really great verification that these work very well. These are the bigger lever nuts and they're rated up to 30 amps. There's a smaller version of lever nuts that's rated up to 20 amps, but we're never gonna ask any of these lever nuts to flow any more than 20 amps because that would be disallowed per ABYC. And that pretty much wraps up this video and we hope you found this useful. Now, if you wanna see all the tutorials that we made using these lever nuts for all those small branch circuits, I've got a full playlist of those and you can click that out right down here. Click it out? I don't know, that didn't make sense. We'll see you next time.